Well, you said earlier, women tend to be delusional, right? A lot of times, and they 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 obviously they're they're emotional. So a lot of times, they while you may offer them some advice for their benefit, they may take it. Chances are they won't. But yet, women are naturally better, uh, more socially calibrated than men. You'd say, yes. Women are approached, uh, women right now, like a, an average 22 year old woman is approached more, an attractive one especially, is a tr a, approached more in her life than I will ever be in my entire life. Right. She'll be approached more by the time she's 22 than I will be approached by other human beings in my entire life. So women's social calibration is higher. They also just have a natural ability to read facial expressions that are better than men. They also have a better sense of smell like it, it, than men. Like there's the th a ton of things that women are just capable of doing. I believe women are better at sussing out ho social hierarchies than men are. Um, and so from that standpoint, what does that mean? That means if you're a phony, women are going to be able to, to, to seek it out. Now there's ways around it. Men have evolved adaptations in order to get around some of those um, defenses that women have. Like, well, like love bombing would be a great example of mm -hmm. one. And just like deceit, deceit, just straight out deceit. Yes, honey, I'll see you when you get back from work and then you just go have an affair. Like that's deceit is another thing that men have an adaptation to do. Women do too, by the way, all yeah. humans have the adaptation to deceive. Um, but it's just, uh, you know, uh, you know, it's just a, it, it's just a situation where like the more you learn about the actual, the actual psychological hardware, firmware in your brain that comes from evolutionary adaptations, um, and then and you just accept those things and understand that they're true, no matter how ugly they are, the closer you will be to the truth. I want to ask you regarding, because you, you shared some great insights around men bettering themselves, getting in better shape, so forth. Uh, let's say, for example, I've, I've, uh, you've spoken about this in past uh, uh, interview so forth so men that are older you know 30s 40s so forth and uh maybe low low energy levels you talk sometimes about uh trt can you talk mm -hmm. a little bit about th what that is for someone that doesn't know yeah uh you know and i know obviously there's not medical advice yeah. or anything like that yeah of course yeah so the the only advice i can give you is to go to a trt doctor and then have your levels checked what i'm going to tell you are hypotheticals that could be happening to you um in order for you to achieve like certain, regardless of what the world tells you, most women find masculine traits in most men to be attractive, more attractive than feminine traits. I know there's, oh my God, Machine Gun Kelly and Harry Styles are attractive. I get what you're doing. You're saying here, those men still have super high status, even though they're not super masculine, but having masculine traits and masculine boundaries for the most part, no matter what society tells you is what most women find attractive in men. Okay. They want a man who could fight better than them, is stronger than them, is taller than them, and makes more money than them. If you ask women, do you want a man who's more intelligent than you? Most women will say yes. Do you want a man who makes a lot more money than you? Most women will say yes. Do you want a, want a man who can provide for you so that you can stay at home with the kids and not work? 83% of women surveyed who were in the workforce said yes, that is what they wanted. Uh, so, you know, regardless of how you feel about that, um, uh, having that, uh, you know, men having the ability to lead or women wanting men like that is what's most important. R restate the question one more time. So in terms of uh, if someone wanted to, they were suffering with low energy levels so forth, and yeah, yeah. they were looking into TRT. Right. So, so maintaining those masculine boundaries, one of the things you need to do is have a certain level of focus and energy and stoicism. Uh, and those things often come from your, the fact that men have more testosterone than women. Uh, there's a point at which I I see I have some clients I have you know a client right now he's in he just turned forty and uh, I gave him some news that was pretty accurate about his life and he looked like he was about to cry um, and then the first thing I thought is bro we got to get your levels checked like we have to get your levels checked there's no way you like baby was not something you should be crying about right gets his levels checked in the two hundreds that's what's going on As excessive amounts of estrogen body fat aromatizes testosterone into estrogen again I'm not saying you guys need to take test. What I'm telling you though, is you need to go to a TRT doctor and there could be several reasons why you feel the way you feel. Why basically for lack of a better term, you're acting like a bitch, but the, the one way that we can't, that you can't handle on your own is your, is your endocrine system. There are certain herbs that you can take that will boost your testosterone levels. And I would recommend people research those and try those before you get on TRT. But there's, uh, there's also a limit to where, you know, you're just older and your just body's not producing testosterone like it used to. And so going to a clinic, again, going to a clinic, having testosterone and estrogen levels checked, watch what will happen. You guys will listen to me. You'll go to a urologist. 
uh, or you'll go to an endocrinologist and they'll check your testosterone levels. They'll be low. They'll tell you, well, you're in normal limits. They won't check your estrogen levels and they'll just send you on your merry way. That's why I said, I did not say go to a urologist. I did not say go to an endocrinologist. I said, go to a TRT specialist and have them run tests on you.